guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a bit of a talk about my Jo Malone perfume collection. Now I do have um, quite a few, maybe about five or six in total. I've got them beside me by the way, which is why I looked over there. Um, and also sorry that it's been a while since I actually last recorded a video. Um, I've actually just been busy doing more stuff at university um, regarding my degree show and things like that. So that's where I have been. I'm looking pretty funky colour in this camera but we digress so um i'm just going to give you a talk about the ones that i have that i of, of but to be fair i love them all anyway to be fair and um, but i'm going to be, have a brief talk with you i actually don't remember the notes to all of these so what i'm going to do is a blog post will also be written out and will be linked down below and that'll have the description of all the notes of um all of the fragrances if that's something um that you are wanting to know about. So I'm going to make a start and pick up my first perfume. I think I'm going to do these in a certain sort of like category. So I've realised I've actually got seven perfumes in total by Jo Malone. I have four that are part of like their everyday collections that you can get and I have three that are limited edition. Um, two of which are actually recently new so I'm going to actually go through the everyday ones first just because they're the ones you can grab now and you can use on yourself now if you wanted to purchase. The first one is definitely the one I've had the most as you can see it's definitely had the most use in this one and this is Peony and Blush Suede. This is one of their classic um, perfumes, very like florally and sweet scented. Um, oh, it just smells so nice. Um, a lot of people tend to use this as like their sort of wedding day fragrance which I can totally see why just because it's very like like I could picture myself wearing this on my wedding day to be fair because it is quite like a girly fragrance would be lovely to wear on the day definitely I like to wear this definitely on days when I feel like I want to be a bit girly because I know my style is quite like boyish I feel like sorry if you can hear any noise by the way um that might be my neighbours because our houses are like like our house is semi-detached so if you hear any noise I do apologize but yeah so Peony and Blush Suede is by far one of my favorite scents by Jo Malone it is an amazing amazing scent um definitely one if you prefer like a girly sort of sweet smell which they're the kind of things I prefer I prefer sweet like fruity girly smells so I absolutely love um, Peony and Blush Suede by Jo Malone. I've realised as well with these ones I've also put it in a specific order of like how I've actually bought them like when I, which ones I bought first. Peony and Blush Suede was definitely the first perfume I bought and um, this was the second which is English Pear and Freesia. Um, I really like this scent as well so this is it. As you can see I have a lot of like the small size bottles because it takes me a long time to get through a perfume to be honest. Um, and yeah, it's kind of one of those things where like, I just kind of, by the way, I've just realised I haven't given you a hair update. I've actually got ginger hair now. I don't even know if it's coming out on camera because I can't really make it out. But yeah, I do have ginger hair now, by the way, which I'm going to record another video about that in a couple of weeks just to give you an update on that. Um, but yes, um, English Pen Freesia is more of like, it's a lovely scent it's very like again like quite fruity but it's got that floral scent scent in it as well because obviously it's english it's like pear and like fresh is obviously like a floral scent oh, i love this smell this is definitely this one and peony and brush suede are really really close together as like my favorite scents um and i'm absolutely in love with this um yeah again such a nice scent one you can wear every day for sure but again, again, this would be a really nice one for your wedding day as well. Like, really, really nice. And, yeah, I 100% agree this is an amazing scent. Third sort of everyday Jo Malone perfume you can buy that I have is definitely by far the best seller. And that is um, Pomegranate Noir. I love this scent so, so much. Um, it's the scent that normally, like, when you buy something in the packager and the spray perfume in it, it's usually this. So that's Pomegranate Noir. And I have to say that like it's by far like such a great everyday perfume like it's nothing where I feel like you c again if it's more like what you'd prefer you could wear it on your wedding day but uh, it's more like got a, a more to me this is more of like a masculine scent um like a, it smells like dark fruity like it smells so good uh, love this um, again this is definitely something I know I can wear every day like I don't have to be in like a specific mood to wear this 
um but i do love this scent i usually like it sounds weird but sometimes when i have like job interviews and stuff i like to wear this because it's quite like a nice sort of i feel like a girl boss when i wear it sort of sort of thing so i feel like this is perfect for like interviews and if you need to feel confident for something i feel like this scent really gives me confidence to do things so i, I definitely recommend this if you're someone who's maybe like a self-conscious person because this really makes me feel better every time i wear it the last perfume in the sort of everyday section of this uh jo malone uh, perfume collection is mimosa and cardamom this is like my most recent one i've actually purchased um purchased this one myself um absolutely amazing smell to this as well it's so nice it's got like a slight floral scent but it's got like a bit of a more of a musk sort of scent to it so i feel like it's not as it's sort of like if you like floral but you don't like it to be so overpowering this is a really really good scent for you if that's how you prefer because like when you smell it it does have like um a bit of like a tinge to like that florally scent right at the end but it smells so so good i love this fragrance sorry again if you can hear that in the background my neighbor's cutting the grass so i'm sorry again if you can hear that um but yeah i absolutely love jo malone fragrances and this is again like like such a nice scent um it's definitely nice like for one that you can wear like every day if you don't want if you want like a common scent and something that's like maybe not as powerful for every day this is the perfect one um, and if you like say if you still like those sort of like floral scents but don't like them too heavy this one is perfect for you so we're going to move on now to the more limited edition ones which like i said i've got three in total two were quite recent but i'm going to show you the one that i had first of all and um, this one's actually re coming out and it's been repackaged for this year for the summer scent and it is the um nashi blossom this smell is amazing and by the way can we just take a moment to enjoy the gorgeous packaging is it going to focus going to focus there we go so obviously it's got this like nice polka dot with like this green lid and it is absolutely stunning again um it's got a nice again this is kind of a bit similar to um the mimosa and cardamom one except this has got a bit more of a stronger floral scent but not like not a like really really overpowering smell that was actually a word i was looking for for describing some other scents like it's so nice this one and i feel like um the mimosa and cardamom one will definitely be ones that maybe you could pair up together if you wanted like a different sort of smell if you like an overpowering floral like these two together i think would be great um it's just so nice like i'm more of a fan of like the florally um like fruity scents again that's more what i'm about um i think as well like i say i do it does take me a long time to go through a perfume so it's always better for me to get a 30 mil like in most of my perfumes i have 30 mil and um, plus with these i like to kind of have them in a line on my dressing table so i'm building that up slowly and i really really like it um, i think actually the next perfume will have to go in the middle because it's actually a slightly bigger one because it only came in either 50 mil i think 75 or 80 mil so um i got it in a 50 mil so that's quite a big one to go in the middle and yeah and this i just absolutely adore as i said in the last clip that this is actually again like a 50 ml bottle so but this one was actually one of the limited edition ones for this year and it was actually the last one that was available on the counter i went on because me and my mum actually went for a hand massage about two months ago and the guy who did it fraser was amazing and he was very helpful in fact we we went back and took him some chocolates because he was so good to us and he actually used this on us and i just fell in love with it and my mum decided to buy it for me for my birthday which was about a month ago and this is the jasmine sandback and marigold cologne and it smells like oh, it's so good and um, i'll just bring it forward so you can see it it's gonna focus I so i absolutely adore like i love the fact as well it's in a black bottle of course i prefer like the clear bottles when it comes to the jo malone packaging but i just kind of love this and i like the fact that the lid's silver as well and this one is more of it's got like like it's hard to explain obviously you can smell the jasmine in it so you can smell the, the floral scent in it but it's more like to me like got a masculine sort of scent to it and it's more like musky but you do get that jasmine like literally coming through because obviously that is one of the main notes in the perfume 
um, and I do love this like it's such a nice perfume um I think for me um it's something that I feel like I can wear on special occasions and keep it for like nice times and stuff because I know for a fact that this is something that I don't usually go for and I absolutely adore this scent it is amazing the final perfume I have that is by Jo Malone is again got it for my birthday and again is also a different limited edition one for this year so I think they kind of brought out one where it's like one of the normal shape bottles like the everyday ones that I have and then one limited edition one in the black sort of packaging and this is the limited edition one for this year and this is oat and cornflower cologne and I just love the packaging of this this is like a rough sort of like it's almost like grainy sort of marble feel to the bottom of it and I just thought it's just such a simple clean sort of crisp packaging for them and this one again smells again like it's got quite it's like quite musky and i think like it can smell like the sort of floral of the cornflower and it's just such a nice perfume this is definitely one you can wear every day because it's really not like a busy scent and it's not overpowering in any way it's really really nice scent um I mean, this would also be potentially like a good one you might be able to mix with other perfumes, like more overpowering ones to maybe try and mute them down a bit. Um, or just to make them a bit more interesting by adding something that's a bit more plainer to them for sure. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice one again that you can wear every day. Um, love the packaging and I am such a huge fan of Jo Malone perfume, like I love it. I love it so, so much. That is it for this video for this Monday, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please give the video a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. I think you subscribe down there somewhere. Again, all the information for the notes of the perfumes will be in a blog post, which should also be already linked because they've gone live about an hour before this. So by the time this goes up, the blog post will be live. Um, join me again on this channel on Friday because I have a bit of an exciting, um, well, I say it's an unboxing video, but it's an unbagging video technically because it's a designer bag that I have purchased um but it didn't come in a box it's in a obviously like a dust bag but um i hope you guys look forward to that and i will see you guys on friday for that video bye guys